Hey guys, what's up? So today I am finally sitting down to film my most requested video ever. It is my, I guess, loose curls hair tutorial. I don't know, like my natural everyday curls, except they're not natural because I do them with a straightener. Anyways, um, on my Instagram, which I will link down below, I have a lot of pictures of my hair curled a certain way and I get tons of questions in the comments like, how do you do your hair? Oh my god, show me. Tell me how, what curling iron do you use? And I actually don't use a curling iron. I use a straightener, which may sound weird, but I'm sure most of you guys um, know that people can curl their hair with a straightener. And if you don't, then thank God you're watching this video because I will show you how to do that. Um, there's not really like a, a specific technique. I think I do this differently every single time, so it always looks different. <laughs> Before I get started, I just want to say that this sweater that I'm wearing is the softest, most comfiest sweater I've ever owned in my entire life. It's so warm and cuddly and it's just really big and cozy. It's a high-low so it goes like really far down on my butt and I really like it a lot. Um, it's from Windsor and I will link um, the little like link thing down below so you can go click on it and check out the store, check out the sweater and let me know what you think. So yeah, without further ado, further, further, further ado, let's get started. The first thing you will need is hair protective spray, and I swear by this stuff because um, I do have blonde hair with my tips, and if I don't use this, the heat from the straightener will completely damage my hair, and ever since I started using this, I've seen a huge difference in the ends of my hair and my split ends, and it's just not as frayed, and my hair is actually growing, as you guys can see, finally. Um, also letting my roots grow out. <laughs> Natural ombre, the best. So yeah, this one is just Tresemme. It's the Keratin Smooth, um, I guess, heat protecting spray, I don't know. I just really like it, it smells good. The next thing you'll need is a comb. Is a comb. <laughs> and this one is just a wide tooth comb. Um, it has like a, two sets. I don't really know how to explain this. And a little like hook thing, which I don't know what you can use that for, but I just really like using this because it doesn't pull on your hair, um, especially if you get out of the shower when your hair is like the most um, brittle and weak, it's not super strong because it's wet. I like to use this because it doesn't break my ends and everything like that, so I just use this to brush out my hair. And then the last thing you'll need is a straightener, and this one is just a ghetto straightener that I got from I don't even know where. I've had this for so long, and normally I use my GHD straightener. But that one broke, so then I bought another one when I went to Australia, and then when I came back, um, the plug, like I didn't have the plug converter, so I don't, whatever. I don't even get into that. But anyways, I've been using this for a couple years, and it's great, so whatever, just use whatever works for your hair, okay? Okay, cool. So when I turn my strainer on, I just put it to the highest heat setting. I know that's not the best thing to do, but I just do that, so... I just realized, because I have second day hair right now, and yesterday I had like braided my hair and um, put some uh, sea salt spray in it to give it some texture, so I hope this works now because it's like kind of crispy and uh oh. Oh well, so I'm just gonna start brushing it from the ends down. Everything is smooth and there's no knots or anything that. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna work. SOS! SOS! Oh my god! Oh my god. Okay. Once that's like somewhat combed out, you can just throw that away. Then I will take my heat protectant spray. I like to kind of spray it everywhere and then the last couple parts I just spray in my super dead tips. So I guess, I guess I'll just start off with my bangs, which this used to be bangs. Believe it or not, I have bangs. Super cute, right? Not. Okay, so I always curl my hair away from my face. If I curl it towards my face, I just find, I don't know, I don't like it. When you curl it away from your face, it's very like windblown. It looks like very natural and I just find it's more flattering for your face. P.S. Excuse my nails, they're very ratchet right now, I'm sorry, uh, there's no excuse. <laughs> okay, so the top section here, I'll just kind of straighten the root, and then when I get around midway through, I'll just twist the strainer and just pull. Like, that's literally all I do. So, like, you see that? That's actually all I do, is just 
twist and pull. Okay, so let's do... Uh, bangs again. Cool. So start from the root, straighten, twist, and pull. Okay, so if I'm looking here, it's because I have, um, I'm just looking in the viewfinder. Oh my god! And then you leave it like this and you're done! I mean, you don't have to put it on the highest heat setting. I just do, because, I don't know, to not do that. I probably should, because it's probably breaking my hair more. When I'm twisting and I'm pulling and it's not like smooth, it's kind of getting caught. That's just because I have sea salt spray in it, which I probably shouldn't be curling my hair right now because it's probably damaging my hair. And the reason why I like to kind of straighten the top is because it gives it more of that like, loose like fallen out curl rather than the, like the tight curl starting from the roots um, I just like that look a lot better but it's personal preference so if you guys want to start your curl higher up you can do that so even this right now like that's too curled for me so I'm gonna have to like fix that later because I don't like that <laughs> I'm very weird with my curls if you really want to be more precise you could do your hair in sections but I just kind of pull whatever strands I find it's more messy that way. Okay. And again, I'm going away. I'm pulling like this. Yay. What I like about straightening, uh, what I like about curling your hair with a straightener is that the ends won't be like curl like a ringlet it'll be kind of like straight at the ends which was very like Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen circa like 2002 these pieces here like my dead <laughs> my dead bang things I'll sometimes I'm show you go up and back just like that so it gives like a nice swoop sort of thing I am by no means a hairdresser. I have no idea what I'm doing. I kind of just experiment with things. And um, I've never even watched a tutorial on how to do this properly, to be honest. There's a nice curl. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So again, this side I always go away from the face. Aha, we're getting somewhere here. So from the front, it's really, really nice. It's kind of just like, a windblown sort of look. Oh, and the sections of strands I take are different every time. I don't have a specific size of strand. I kind of just grab whatever. Obviously, you don't want to make them too thick because then it won't curl. Oh my gosh, my pet peeve is when girls curl or straighten their hair, but they forget to do the roots from like back. So make sure when you're doing your back sections just to really get the roots properly because you don't want like crimpy hair when you're doing your hair. So I just pull away. And don't worry if you guys can't do it the first time because I do a lot of girls hair like this for like photo shoots or whatever and then when they try to recreate it they can never do it properly so don't give up if you can't do it right away just keep practicing keep trying because even when I first started I didn't know what I was doing I was kind of just like Wah. like whatever playing with a straightening iron and I used to like flip out or in my ends and then I just kind of like started twisting and playing around with my hair everyone's hair is different so don't be discouraged if you, you know, you try to do it and it doesn't work out right away. The reason why I started doing my hair like this was actually because of Miley Cyrus because I don't, you know, if you guys remember when she had like her super long brown hair and it was always like really loose bohemian curls. That's when I was like playing around with my curling iron and I realized I can never get like loose curls without doing a bunch of stuff and using a straightener in there to like straighten out the ends or whatever. So I just figured why not I just curl my hair with a straightener. It's like a back section. Away from my face. And that's that. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing properly. I, I really apologize if you can't because this is actually really hard to explain even though it's so simple. Like there's no like step by step. It just kind of grabs sections whatever section the side is on, I curl away from my face. And there you go, look, a curl, oh my god, magic. <laughs> Do you guys have Instagram? If you have Instagram, what's your Instagram? Leave it down below, I'll go follow you. That'll be 
fun, we can be friends. Friends through Instagram. Look at my arm right now. Uh. <laughs> I have also layers in my hair, so it's like all different lanes. Plus, whoa, that's smoking. Plus, the back, like top, like these sections here are actually really dead because from when I used to dye my hair, I just, I'm not even gonna talk about it, okay. Once you're done, I kind of just like to finger comb through it. And this is the part where you can normally add hairspray, but for my hair, I don't need hairspray just because it holds the curl really well. I have naturally wavy hair. This is it. This is how I curl my hair with a straightener. Um, nothing too exciting. Nothing too hard, I guess. Just keep practicing. Sometimes the top part, I'll want to add more of um, volume without teasing, so I'll just do it upwards. That way it'll be like, oh look, sexy. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave in the comments down below if you have any more questions, how you liked it. Sorry that I'm not the best person to explain something while I do it. It's just something I've been doing for years and it just comes naturally to me. Pretty simple though, so I would definitely give it a try. Let me know how it works. Comment down below. Reply to me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Oh my gosh, guys, follow me on Twitter. I just recently made my personal Twitter more like public and I changed my name to Miss Alexandra C. So you guys could follow me there. It's a lot of fun. I'm always on Twitter. So if you guys want to be friends and talk, I will link it down below. And um, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. If you guys have any more suggestions for videos, please leave it in the comments down below and I will definitely get to it as soon as I can. I love making videos for you guys and I think I'm going to start uploading every Sunday. So that's going to kind of be exciting. And yeah, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in my next video. And if you're interested in seeing my pictures with this hair, I will link one right here. And then also go follow me on Instagram. Okay, bye.